C.J. Massenberg, now in his second year with the Long Island Nets, was asked after the G League team suffered another loss Saturday, what it's like playing from behind. It's pretty tough playing from behind, you know, we can't dig ourselves into a hole, Massenberg said, then added a fascinating detail about how the organization tracks player effort. We have these little chips that they put in our undershirts and it tracks how much energy we're exerting and things like that, and the games where we dig ourselves into a hole, our numbers skyrocket," said Massenberg. The amount of work we have to put in is way up relative to when we're even with a team or if we're up on a team. The numbers don't lie. And on Saturday evening, Long Island Nets players must have been pinning the needle on the effort gauge once again. The Long Island Nets dropped another game in the Disney bubble, making it two straight defeats, losing 108-88 to the Santa Cruz Warriors, Golden State's affiliate. The Nets are now 4-7, two and a half games out of the G League playoffs with four to play. Other than a tight first quarter, the Nets trailed for essentially the entirety of the remainder of the game, getting close a couple of times, even tying it briefly in the third, but got blown out at the end. These holes we're digging ourselves in, sometimes they'll be too much to crawl out of, but that's something that we're focusing on and we should do better the last four games of the regular season," said Massenberg. Reggie Perry continued his stellar play, dropping 15 points on 7 of 12 shooting as well as grabbing 8 rebounds. Kaiser Gates, Long Island's 6 feet 7 inches swingman, added 16 points on 4 of 8 shooting from deep, while Elia Kobo had 11 points and dished out 8 dimes. After a deadlocked first quarter, the Warriors tried to pull away in the second, but the Nets made it difficult right up until the end. With two minutes left in the half-half, Santa Cruz went on a run and held a 50-37 halftime advantage. After a back-and-forth third quarter, the Nets ended the period on a 11-2 run, and only trailed by three. The bench unit tied up the game shortly into the fourth frame, but when Santa Cruz's starters checked back in, it became ugly. Long Island watched the deficit balloon from double digits. I asked Breilmeyer about the play from the bench unit, the bench was incredible. CJ Massenberg, Elia Kobo play beautifully today, making the right plays offensively, really setting up some shooters, Tarek Owens, another just solid performance from him, our bench is a group that brings energy and stability to us, and you felt that at times today. One player who hasn't been showing out the box score this season is starting point guard Shannon Scott. The 28-year-old had zero points in today's showing, and his total is often in single digits. Coach Brielle Meyer spoke on Scott's leadership post-game. Shannon's probably our consistent and simple player on this team, 